So continuing on with our functions and how we created Fibonacci sequence with our functions, there's a few reasons that we would want to use functions. Now, let's say again that we wanted to do a certain limit. Now, I'm going to fix this because our 0th iteration is actually our third sequence into the function. So we want to again we'll have it print out after what we want to do is after the for loop we're going to say print and we want it to print out the last value calculated and the sequence number so we'll type last val similar to how we did before and then we'll do sequence num exactly how we did before dot format excuse me the dot format goes outside the double dot format and then we're gonna type fib list I know you can't see this part but I'll describe what I'm doing fib list minus one for our last value and we will do I'll show you this part so rather than here let's back up instead of our sequence num one one way we can get our sequence number is to call a function called len and what len will do is calculate the length of a list so how many terms are in that list so we'll do len of fib list is equal to fib len is equal to len fib list and we will pass that in our print statement let me show you let me just show you this part I'll create a new line fib list minus one and fib len now let's see if Python can handle this being on a new list so what this should do is print out our co our values from our list similar to below similar to this line and then it should create a new line that says print last val and sequence number and then those two with those values filled in so let's pass it or we'll leave it at 10 and we'll see what our 10th value is and we have limit minus 3 so that should take care of that so let's run this and see what happens so our last val is 21 and our sequence number is 9 okay so that means we needed to subtract 2 rather than 3 and that's because the original length was only 2 the original list was 2 values so let's run this again now we get last val 34 and our sequence number is 10 so that shows the power of putting this inside a function because say we wanted to know the 100th value in in our Fibonacci sequence if we pass to our function the argument limit 10 then we will get out the well excuse me 100 to override the limit 10 we will get a value of our 100th sequence number so let's see what that is it's probably going to be a pretty large number and it looks like it is a quite a large number I'm not even sure so that's the thousands so it's 9,000 that's the hundred that's the million value <laughs> five million but it still has quite a more than that so we can tell that the Fibonacci sequence gets high very quickly um, and we can easily calculate using a function we can easily determine what our hundredth value based upon the Fibonacci sequence is so that really goes to show you the value of our functions and we can even have it return fib list so that way we can create we can say 
ABC equals fib sequence and it will return a list to that value.